Hey everyone and happy Friday. It is Thanksgiving weekend. We truly hope that you're having a good Thanksgiving weekend so far. And uh, some of you are traveling, please be careful. And we pray you have safe travels. Some of you are shopping today. Uh, pray that you have safe shopping. Don't spend all your money in one place. And uh, we hope that you have a great weekend. As we come to the weekend here at Fellowship on Saturday, uh, we're having our men's open gym basketball. Now that's every uh, Saturday morning, unless you hear otherwise, uh, but that'll be this Saturday. Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Men, you're welcome to come and participate in that in the open gym basketball. On Sunday morning, we're going to continue our emphasis across the street and around the world. And of course, we're in the around the world portion, and we'll be talking about that again uh, this Sunday. Also in our services, we have baby and family dedication, always a special day at Fellowship. And we're grateful to have a number of children and families that are going to be participating in that uh, this weekend. And so we have that uh, to look forward to as well. Also on this uh, this weekend, on Sunday, we're going to begin our fill the boxes emphasis. And uh, so our boxes will be, big green boxes will be at the entrance and uh, at the west doors as well to drop your non-perishable food items. We just have had a number of people already dropping stuff off, which is great. Thank you so much. Uh, we want to fill these boxes multiple times throughout the month and uh, raise as many uh, non-perishable food items as we can for the Norwalk Food Pantry. And thank you so much. Uh, you guys do a great job every year uh, thinking about others and providing for others and being generous. And I can't think of anything better that we could or should be doing uh, during Christmas. Also, I wanted to mention that our angel tree begins this week. We have some families that we've uh, contacted and they're just uh, needing some assistance here at Christmas time. You're going to see the tags on a Christmas tree right when you come in the front doors, right in the entryway there. You'll see that. And so just look them over. If you want to be a part of that, just take those tags off there and uh, we'll be glad to help you do that if you need some assistance. But uh, we really want to get this going quickly and uh, get all these tags taken care of quickly so that we can and get these gifts in and uh, thank you for helping us uh, our church be a blessing to others um, in our area we greatly appreciate that looking down the road just a couple of weeks and a couple of weeks ladies we're having our women's Christmas caroling fellowship uh, you'll meet here that Saturday night December the 4th and uh, at six o'clock and so have a good time uh, doing that all women are invited and uh, and then uh, and there is information by the way in the worship folder about that that's not all you're doing that night uh, so be sure ladies you take a look at that and then of course on Sunday we're just two weeks away now uh, boy on, on Saturday and Sunday December 11th and 12th is our synchronized lights and live nativity the main thing I want to encourage you to do that is just put that on your prayer list would you do that uh, let's pray that God will give us a good weekend that God will bring people here that we be able to minister to them uh, to show them what Christmas is all about to pray with people and to even share the gospel with people and so uh, please uh, be in prayer for this uh, outreach that is before us it is a great opportunity as God uh, is using that and we look forward to what he's going to do this year. Well, we uh, have a number of people that are battling COVID right now and I want to ask you to be in prayer for our church family members that are struggling with that and uh, Lord, and just praying that the Lord will give them strength and help them uh, to pull through this. Uh, and so thank you for your prayers. Uh, we really appreciate that. And if you have anything in addition to those that we can pray for, please make sure you let us know that. We appreciate that as well. Uh, let me leave you with a scripture from Psalm chapter uh, number 46 verse 1 and it says this God is our refuge and strength a helper who is always found in times of trouble. Yeah, we have some folks in our church that are in trouble. We're going to pray for them. And perhaps you're in trouble today. You have troubles. I just want to remind you what God says. He's a very present help in times of trouble. Lean on him. Turn to him. Pray and ask his help. That's why he's there. God, we want to do that today. We have a number of family members, church family members, Father, who are struggling with COVID, Father. And God, you're the, you're the God who's there in our time of trouble. And so, Lord, we pray that you would help each of those family members, Father, strengthen their bodies. God, we pray. And Lord, we pray that you'll bring them back to full health. Lord, they love serving you here. And they're a big part of our church family. And so, God, we just pray. We pray for them today. You know who they are, Lord. And there are many. Father, we might have some people that are watching this update and this is their day of trouble. And Lord, I pray that you'll be a very present help today in whatever trouble they might be facing, whatever struggles might be going on in their life. God, help them to turn to you and you're there to help. You're there to provide help that only you can give. 
God, thank you. We praise you for who you are. And we are thankful at this Thanksgiving season. We are thankful for you, Lord, and for all you do for us. And we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, again, have a great Thanksgiving weekend. And Lord willing, we'll see you Sunday. God bless.